Hey guys, welcome back to Selenium CH tutorial with AnyUnit session 6. In today's session, you can learn about AnyUnit assertions, AnyUnit constraint, along with AnyUnit comparison constraint. So, in any of the testing, though you are doing functional testing, integration testing, regression testing, or automation testing with any tool, your objective is to validate the expected and the actual behavior. In case that is not match, right, you will be failing your test cases after analyzing. So your objective is not to validate from one page to another page, right? Or as apart from that, in each and every page, you will be having so many validation points and you need to validate whether the specific condition is matching with the expectation or not. So assertions will play an pivotal role primarily for Selenium tool as well. So in case you already use Selenium with Java, you already see, right, uh, there is a uh, concept called JUnit framework or the TestNG framework which will be giving you the assert class. Similarly here, Selenium with C has, there is a framework available called AnyUnit through which we can get the assert class and lot of method to validate the expected and the actual behavior. So assertions are used to verify whether the test is failed or not in any unit framework. Test case is considered to be passed only if all statement in test cases execute successfully and in case any exception is thrown or ex expected result do not match with the actual result then the test case considered to be failed. Any unit assert class is used to determine whether a particular test method gives expected result or not. Any unit provides a rich set of assertion as static method of the assert class. So all the static method will be getting from the assert class which is only available in the any unit in case you want to write complete your automation journey with selenium c has. So you need to use any unit framework as well. Apart from any, any unit there are a lot of other framework available called x unit. So assertion also will be available in that framework also. So in a test method use a write code the check the business object behavior that business object returns a result in assert method user match the actual result with their expected result if result comes according to the user expectation then their test cases will be passed else it will be considered or treated as failed any unit supports two models to write assertion constant model and classic model in the latest version of any unit the classic model has been re-implemented using the newer constraint model. The constraint model is built around the statement assert dot that actual value comma constant where the constant is an object implementing the I resolve constant interface. Furthermore, any unit provides many helper method aiming at creating a fluent expression. So what are the helper class available in any unit, right? These are the listed below of the right helper classes to provide a constant to assert the method like is, has, contains, does, and throws. Constant category, constant in any unit, I primarily divided into eight categories as mentioned below. Comparison constant, string, collection constant, conditional, compound constant, directory or file, type or reference and exception constant. So we'll discuss all the constant type with real time example down the line. But today we'll learn about the comparison constant. So what is comparison constant? So asserting equality between two values is less intuitive than one would think because several aspects need to be taken in consideration. By default, the equal constant use the closest override of the object dot equals method. When comparing numbering types, user can use the method within to specify the tolerance, both in absolute and relative term. Comparison constant like greater than, greater or equal than, less than, less or equal than, right, is equal, is not equal, is range also expose the within method. So these are the example of cons comparison constant we will try to implement, right, how we can deal with the comparison constant. 
so let's declare some variable here so this is my class test i can declare some variable called integer comparison constant var i can give any value like call 20 so that is the first my declaration so you could uh, see what is the error it should be equal to sign okay error my error gone now you could see a warning message because that variable we did not used anywhere then what we can do right we can call all the method one by one so there is a method called is dot equal to so it will validate in case whatever variable you have declared is equal or not so we'll be calling the assert class class first from the any unit assert that is the class if you press dot right there will be option called that so that is nothing but the um, supporting it will support that constant so assert dot that and then you need to use that variable here whatever you have declared comparison variable right with the help of the asset class all the method will be there if you press dot right i could see is dot equal you could able to see here is sorry you need to give the comma here after that we need to match whether is equal or not is dot equal right is dot equal to equal to then we can ma 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 validate with anything right suppose i want to as it uh, it is a numeric part right in integer value you no need to give any double quote so i need to enclose with surround uh, that one sorry i need to enclose that first bracket and need to end with semicolon now you could see here that is the way right you can use is dot equal to method which is coming from the asset class with the help of that okay now what will happen here so your value is 20 right but it is not is it equal to 15 so it will not match and still if you want to display some result here right in the uh, whenever you will running the test case so you can mention right that what is the method is equal to is equal to assertion failure so that you can easily understand why it is failed and which line number that will be displayed but you can get that message apart from the failure that message will be printed now let's try to run your code so i am declaring a variable which is type as integer the value is 20 now i want to check whether that variable value right equal to 15 or not in case it is not 15 that message will be printed out right in the report is equal to assertion failure because that is the assertion we are trying to call it okay or that is the comparison constants we want to compare it right that particular variable now if you go to the test and you can go to the test explorer here and you can run all so what will happen it will try to run your project and all the method from the project right now only one method is there which is in unit assertion method right and the um, the class is test this is the explorer any unit trading project this is the right project and this is the class and this is the method now you could see here why the method got failed expected was 15 <coughs> okay but it is coming as 20 you have defined the variable as 20 and you are expecting whenever you are validating as 15 so why is the message is printed out is equal to assertion failure that is the message we have right given as a after comma this part and you could see like it is failing at the line number 14 right this is the class and this is the method is failing why it is failing right you could see here the details line number 14 it is failing because of expectation and actual is not matched so you could see here you could go here and you could see that 15 and 20 is not matching that is the value is getting printed and line number 14 it is getting failed now in case you want to change it to 20 so definitely it will be passed this case will not be failed and there will be that message also 
let's see whether the message also getting printed or not you could see there is no message printed because whatever optional message you are giving it will display only whenever failure is there in the test explorer but in case test case got passed the condition is matching that will not be displayed so that is the optional message so right we are using that is dot equal to method as part of our competition constant okay then we can check also not equal to right so I can copy the uh, line here and I can comment it out okay then I can check with not equal to so what will be that is and you can press not that dot equal to so I want to check whether 2020 so it definitely will fail because the those are equal so it will not equal to will not match here so I can mention is not equal to assertion fail okay or failure okay now it will be failed now you can go here and you can try to execute your test cases so what will happen it will fail it will be display the explorer project class and then the method and you could see that is the mm, being displayed here in the test explorer section expectation was 20 and uh, coming as 20 but the method is should not equal right you expected in the actual should not equal that is the reason it is getting failed now if you change it to right anything maybe 21 or 25 any integer value so definitely it is not matching so it will pass test cases and then optional message will not be printed out in the test explorer area okay so your test case will be passed here now you could see the test case got passed and there is no message at all because that message will be completely ignored in case of pass in case it will be displayed only in case of failure right then similar way this is the two uh, right comparisons constant we can use apart from that there are a couple of other thing we can use whether is greater than or is greater than or equal to is less than is less than or equal to these are the couple of comparison constants available in any unit let's try to use them so first we'll be using is dot dot greater than right you could see greater than so what is the value suppose say I want to check whether the greater than 0 or greater than 10 so definitely it will pass similarly I can check whether greater than dot if you press dot if you type greater you could see greater than or equal to right you can give suppose say 20 as well so it is equal to 20 right either is greater than or maybe you can give it 19 so it will still pass so there will be no failure right in case you are giving more digit maybe 25 so it will fail otherwise it will test case will pass here so both the right competition constant will work here right it will not fail your test case so you can run it here so that is the way you can give multiple constant even same test case but it will fail on any in case any constant is getting failed the remaining will not be executed so that point it will give you the error you could see now both are passed right so both are working fine but in case you are giving is suppose say 25 you want to check or 26 you want to check who definitely which is not the case right so 20 it is not 20 is not greater than or equal to 26 it might be equal to 10 so it might be greater than 10 but not greater than 26 so it will fail your test case now if you want to run it so it will fail and it will display the result but you, you are not using any optional message to display so that message will be not be there here right you did not use any optional message to be printed out so it will fail the test case with the proper reason right you could see expected was greater than or equal to 26 but it original value was 20 so that is the reason line number 15 it is getting failed you could see this is the line number 15 okay so this is the way you can use greater than or greater then or equal to comparison constant from the any unit now we'll comment it out now i can use right less than or less than or equal to comparison constant so in case you want to display some extra message you can give as a optional parameter after these two part 
so here instead of get up then I can use is dot less you could see less than or less than or equal to is coming so less than so here uh, what I can give whether it is less than 30 so definitely it will be true or 39 or 30 right so it will be true here similarly you can use less than or equal to right let us remove that part and read let us use less than right you could see or equal to that is already coming here you can use also 30 so both the assertion will pass here in your test case will be also pass so that is the way right you can check whether is equal not equal greater than greater than or equal less than less than or equal also Th these are the different kind of comparisons constants available in any unit framework now in case you want to check whether is less than or equal to 10 right definitely will fail and similar way you can print out some message also right so definitely will fail and it will be printing out the message in the test explorer section so what is the name less than or equal to so that is the way I want to print the complete details also whenever you are executing for any failure only that optional message will be displayed in case of only failure only but in case there is no failure that will be completely ignored now let's try to run it so definitely it failed so that message is being dinted line number 16 expectation was less than or equal to 10 but it is 20 so it is not the actual case so that is the reason it is getting failed now you can comment it out here both the line and the last important comparison constant we can use is in range so suppose say value I have declared as 20 then if I want to check is dot in range dot in range you could see in range so you can give the range suppose say your value should be coming within the range called uh, uh, maybe 10 to 30 because you are right so that is the range you can mention instead of a single thing right so the upper value and the lower value range 10 comma 30 so what will happen here that will be work because the value is 20 so it will be falling within the range 10 to 30 so that is the way in case you do not know the exact right you can give some range suppose say your mm, in case you want to give some marks right based on the grade so you can give right in case it is a falling 80 to 100 right it will be the first class right in case it is a falling 60 to 80 it will be second class like that so that is the way you can also use it right in the real time so that is the way you can give some range now go to the test explorer and try to run it I could able to see here test case will pass because the range is 10 to 30 and your actual value you want to write validate is 10 20 so it will be passed in case you it is not falling right you can in case give, giving as 10 and 15 so it range will not fall 15 20 will be outside that range and test case will be failing right and you can get the desired result in case you want to give any right uh, more um, information you can just give it as optional parameter so if you are running it you could see here expected range was 10 to 15 but it is not coming 20 so that is the reason line number 14 in got fail right so line number 14 in got fail so that is the way right right comparison constant will be playing a very very pivotal role in the enumeration framework so there are uh, th a comparison constant available for is like is dot equal to is dot not equal to is get up then is dot get up then or equal to is dot less than is dot less than or equal to and is dot in range so that's all from today's session thank you